Hey guys and gals, it's Sweet Project Cars here with cool trick and affordable ways for the do-it-yourselfer. Simple ways too. This is our next to the last video on our rust proofing series. We're pretty excited about it. We've shared a lot of things. It'll give you great information on being able to take care of the job yourself. But I think you'll pick up on what I'm trying to lay down here. Many of you ask where is the show more of the video description? Take a look here. On your wheels in the winter time, if you have to drive your nice wheels in the winter time or your factory rims are really nice, take your rust proofer and spray the entire wheel inside and out. Take the wheel off, spray it on the inside, spray it on the outside, and guess what? It will protect it all winter, and then in the spring, use your dish soap and clean them all up. That way you can keep them protected from corrosion, which gets inside here and in here. And on the inside of the rim, the salt and chloride sits in there and eats away at it. And you can do it with aluminum. You can do it with factory rims, you can do it with steel wheels, you can do it with chrome. Just an added tip to keep your wheels looking good if you have to use them in the winter time. This is your rocker panel. This particular truck has a plastic piece in here that keeps the wires all in line. You can take that out. Now if you notice right here, there's rust on that bolt. And of course rust likes to transfer down to the metal. Make sure you spray that a little bit. I suggest you take this out. It'll pop right out of there. We're not going to do it for the video to keep it short, but there's another one that's all rusty right there. Now with this rocker panel, what I suggest you do is figure out how far your spray tube will go and mark it out. I'm going to drill a hole there. I'm going to drill a hole here and I mark it out with my Sharpie and then I want to make sure I get this area, which will come in from this side when I go in this way. And then from the other door, from the back passenger door, I'm going to drill a hole here, which will allow me to get up this way, and it'll allow me to get down here. I'm going to drill a hole here, which will allow me to go that way and that way. Now, as far as the bottom edges of your doors, down here, this is a horrible place, and rust loves to start down in there, okay? You can see by this edge right here, it's starting to rust. Take your brush and pack it inside here so that it'll absorb inside that seam. You can see it's starting to bubble up a little bit right there. And then we took the door panel off, and this is what I suggest you do, because then you can get down inside the door here. And you can see that's starting some surface rust on that support bracket. Well, we're going to get down in there. Right down in that seam, all the way across there. And of course, there's a nice hole here. I marked it out. I want to make sure I stick my pipe down in here. And here. So there's all kinds of areas you can do your doors and get those really well. You can come up in here, up to that area. The hose, this is really cool because you can take that and stick it right in there, all the way down to one end. Spray it as you drag it back. Boom, done. Then you can take your brush and brush this whole edge and really let it soak in there, and that'll stop all that from happening. So this will be a jumpy, aroundy type of video because there's so many little areas to hit and I want to make sure you get them all. All right, let's do some drilling and plugging. We start with our step drill. No, it has to be exactly on there, but we like it a little bit centered.
we like to do three quarter inch holes. So we start with the step drill, get it started, and then put our three quarter inch drill bit in. Take your time with it when you're going through, nice and slow. And you can pull your seal up and out of the way if you want. And raising the value of your vehicle by doing this is huge because people see you care about it. It's been rust proofed and that's a big addition to the value of your vehicle. And anybody that's ever had z bar or anybody do rust proofing, you know there's plugs all along the areas where they do it. So this is nothing out of the ordinary. Push very lightly. Done. Okay, our first nozzle we're going to use is the one with all the holes around the outside. And we can go up this way if we want, or we can go back this way. We'll start right here. And you go as far down as you can and pull it back out slow. See that? Make sure you get it right around that edge. Good, you can brush it too around that hole we cut so that doesn't start rusting. Now we can go back this way. Chevys, Fords, pretty much all the trucks rust in these areas. This will assure they will not rust. Any rust that's there will be stopped in its tracks. as it'll go. Like I said, you want to do these really heavy. Lots of, lots of uh, rust proofer in it. Now I'll go back this way just to double up on it. That rocker panel is done. As I said, make sure you have your bucket with a brick in it. And you can set your sprayer just like that. Now we'll take our brush and we'll brush that rusty bolt right there, put it on heavy, let it slop right in there. Like I said, taking this out is a good idea and spraying this threshold area. Now watch how nice this looks and professional. Just like that, folks. Looks like a pro did it. You, you're the pro. Let's do this one right here. Nice, eh? And it doesn't affect the door shutting or anything. Now let's get the uh, inside of the door and deal with that. Okay, when you're doing your doors, you don't have to take the door panel off, but if you're a perfectionist, you will. Because, as I said earlier in the video, you can get the inside from these holes right here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take our brush and we're going to brush this edge. Right where all that rusty stuff was. I'm going to really pack it in there. Really help it to soak in. Wipe it right into that edge so it sits right on top of the edge and it'll really get down in there. We caught this vehicle at just the right time to stop all this from happening. And I looked in one of the holes that I drilled in the rocker panel and looked down in there before I did it and it was all surface rust inside. So it was getting ready to eat its way out. That's for sure. Now, at least do your rocker panels and your bottom of your doors in the bottom of your fenders because that's where it really likes to start. Even if you don't get up under the frame and do all that, pick away at that part, but get this part here done on your doors and stuff. 
just like that. Really fill it up. We'll finish this door up by pulling the door panel off so we can get right down inside there really, really well. We'll take our brush and we'll pack it right in here. See how I wipe down against the seam? This is very important. All right, on this one, because we want to get right up tight into this area right here, in this area all the way down, we're going to use this first, our nozzle with the big hole in it. All right, we're going to put it right up in here. And with this, you can really blow it down into those cracks and crevices. And I got it coming out pretty heavy. Now I'm going right down that main seam all the way to the end. Now I'm going to spray with this same nozzle everywhere that I can see. Now you can come in down here if you want. There's no need to do that if you take the door panel off. But I'll put it in heavy, because that's what I do. I'll give that rust no chance. Spray it right deep into that seam. Done. 